In 2014, a woman named Julia Vang became a sensation across Russia. She was a contestant on the TV show Battle of Psychics. There, she demonstrated extraordinary psychic abilities and won the championship with an overwhelming 78.5% of the vote. The host even declared her the strongest contestant in the show's eight-year history. Julia's fame soon spread beyond Russia to Europe, the U.S., and eventually around the world. But even more astonishing than her performance on the show was her life story. She claimed to have memories of 150 past lives and said her supernatural abilities first awakened at the age of three. She describes herself as a special soul residing in a human body, the spirit of chaos. Strangely, not long after the Battle of Psychics season ended, Julia began to reveal troubling aspects of her life and eventually vanished from the public eye. Some speculated that she might have been cursed by other contestants. So, what's the truth? Is she really a psychic? Today, we will explore the mystery of this enigmatic psychic queen, Julia Vang. If you're familiar with Russia, you might know that it has a rich tradition of mysticism. A 2013 survey by the polling organization Srita found that 63% of Russians believe in astrology, fortune-telling, or the concept of the evil eye. Additionally, a 2015 poll by the independent Levada Center estimated that one in five Russians have consulted a psychic. Hundreds of psychics from around the world audition, with 12 being selected to compete. Each episode features different tests to showcase their psychic abilities, and the audience votes for the season's winner based on their performances. It's no surprise that Battle of Psychics has become a massive hit in Russia. This reality show aired on the Russian TNT TV channel, tests the abilities of self-proclaimed psychics. When the first season of Battle of Psychics aired in 2007, it quickly became a favorite among viewers. Now in its 22nd season, the show has reached peak ratings of 33.4%, meaning that one-third of viewers were tuned in during its broadcast. In 2014, the 15th season of Battle of Psychics aired as scheduled. The audience had no idea they were about to encounter the most shocking contestant in the show's history. During the selection test, the production team arranged for 30 car owners to bring their vehicles, with one owner randomly chosen to hide in the trunk. The contestants were then asked to find this car using only the owner's keychain. The first few contestants made a big show of using various tools like antennas, talismans, and Buddha bells, but none succeeded. Then Julia Vang appeared. Standing at 1.8 meters with a striking appearance, she immediately commanded attention. She introduced herself with the words, Julia, in this world, I am known as Julia. I am the spirit of chaos, residing in this body in this life. Julie. The host handed her the car owner's keys, but Julia scoffed, I'm not a dog, and walked away. Her aloof attitude initially put people off, but within moments, she astounded everyone. Walking calmly past each car, she effortlessly revealed detailed information about each owner, including their deepest secrets, and finally identified the car with the hidden owner. Seeing Julia's incredible abilities, the car owners lined up, eager for her to predict their futures. Even the skeptical host, who usually dismissed such supernatural claims, was astonished and admitted that Julia was the most powerful contestant in the show's eight-year history. In the second test, Julia's remarkable abilities were on full display once again. The host handed her an opaque envelope containing a photo of two girls celebrating a birthday in the woods. A week after the photo was taken, the girls noticed a pair of black ghost hands around their waists. Julia took the envelope, briefly glanced at the people around her, and then sensed its contents with her hands. She accurately described the photo and identified the ghost hands as belonging to a boy who had hanged himself in a nearby tree. Without warning, Julia grabbed a torch and ran into the woods, with the frightened crowd following her. The ranger added, 
Julia is heading to where the boy was found and taken down from the tree. You might think predicting the past isn't impressive, and that a true psychic should be able to foresee the future. Indeed, Julia did successfully predict future events on the show. Once, the program invited the children of Yuri Koi, the lead singer of the legendary band Gaza. On July 4, 2000, Yuri, who was only 36 years old, suddenly felt severe stomach and chest pain, forcing him to cancel his music recording later that day. Tragically, Yuri died suddenly that same day, and his cause of death remained a mystery to his family. Even more bizarrely, supernatural occurrences were frequently reported at Yuri's cemetery, with his tombstone often found broken into pieces. To uncover the truth, his children brought a piece of his tombstone to the show, covering it with a thick cloth, and asked the contestants to guess what it was and to whom it belonged. Julia Vang not only accurately described the tombstone's owner, but also sensed the presence of a cat's spirit nearby. Yuri's children revealed that Yuri had given them a cat, which they had kept at home for 16 to 17 years before it passed away six months ago. Finally, Julia Vang made a startling observation, suggesting that the chain reaction of death in the band isn't over yet, and death is playing a strange game with people. Astonishingly, just a few weeks after filming, on October 10th, the band's 53-year-old keyboardist Igor Anik died of a sudden heart attack while performing at a restaurant, seemingly confirming Julia's prediction. Whenever Julia appeared on the show, she never used any external aids like blood, sacrificial offerings, drums, magical instruments, or divine powers. With just a few photos in front of her, she could instantly tell the stories behind them. Every guest who interacted with Julia felt an almost hypnotic magic. Within a few moments of conversation, Julia could reveal their deepest, most private secrets as if she had witnessed those moments herself. Everyone calls Julia a genuine psychic. While there have been other contestants with strong psychic abilities in past seasons, Julia Vang stood out and sparked extensive discussion, largely due to her distinctive personality. During a search test, the host warned Julia that she had only four minutes left. Julia retorted, Don't rush me or I'll twist your head off. According to the rules, Julia needed to find the room where the person in the photo was hiding within a 10-minute limit. The location was a large, abandoned building surrounded by overgrown grass, but this did not phase Julia. She took a branch and tapped on the window from outside, asking, What's your name? Suggesting that the person in the photo was hiding inside. Although Julia had identified the location, the host, perhaps still annoyed by her earlier comment, insisted she enter the building to confirm. With the 10 minutes up, Julia reluctantly went inside, flipping off the host as she did. Although Julia often seemed cold and arrogant, she would become incredibly caring and gentle when she saw an injured guest, even offering a comforting hug. The production team observed that Julia seemed to have different personalities. They noticed a pattern. She was gentler when wearing light makeup and bright clothes, but more aggressive with heavy makeup and dark clothing. Viewers became increasingly intrigued, tuning in not just for her performances, but also to see Julia's latest outfits and personality changes. After all, a versatile witch is far more captivating than ordinary contestants. Ultimately, Julia won the championship with her powerful supernatural abilities, striking makeup, and unique outfits, earning 78.5% of the votes. The runner-up received 19.9%, while the third-place contestant got just 1%. As Julia walked off the stage with her crown, fans cheered wildly. Even after the show ended, she continued to be recognized on the streets. But what is Julia Vang really like outside the show? How does she possess such witch-like magic to see the past and predict the future? According to Julia Vang, she is a chaotic soul who has experienced 150 reincarnations, and she clearly remembers everything from her previous 150 lives. On October 29, 1981, the spirit of chaos entered Julia's body. She was born in Riga, the capital of Latvia, and her birth was shrouded in mystery. It is said that her mother was a nuclear physicist, and her father was a German soldier. When giving birth to Julia, her mother saw not only the doctors in white coats, but also a line of people in black clothing in the delivery room who appeared almost like holographic projections, as soon as Julia was born, those people disappeared into the wall, 
Julia claimed those figures were her spiritual family. Even more bizarrely, while most babies cry at birth, Julia was born singing in a soprano voice. As a child, Julia was very introverted and had almost no friends. She showed no interest in games or toys and never owned a doll. Because of her unsociable nature and odd behavior, she was often ridiculed by her peers. She spent most of her time sitting alone, lost in her imagination. By the age of three, she had learned to read and write, but instead of fairy tales, she was drawn to religious and occult literature. She began reading ancient magical texts like Scandinavian runes and delved into alchemy, Western magic, and necromancy. After reading the book, The Way Into Chaos, Julia realized she possessed some form of supernatural abilities and began experimenting with the mysterious energy within her. At the age of four, she saw her first vision, a white cat. By the age of five, she had created her first set of divination cards and used them for readings. Later, she studied Russian witchcraft and learned to use herbs, stones, and oils for magical purposes. Julia's mother recalled that the family avoided arguing with her because whenever she got angry, the dishes around her would shatter. On one occasion, after Julia had an argument with her grandmother while she was washing dishes, a teacup inexplicably rolled off the counter and broke. Typically, parents might be concerned about having such a strange child at home. However, Julia's mother, a nuclear physicist, didn't see any reason for concern. She explained that while she herself didn't possess supernatural abilities, she had always understood and accepted the unique abilities her daughter had. In the show Battle of Psychics, Julia once said that the man her mother called her father was not her real father. She referred to him as her stepfather and revealed that her true father is a being from the chaotic world. Julia communicates with him through supernatural means and he has shared with her secrets of creation, spirals, member selection, hypercubes, and various other subjects. Strangely enough, Julia's mother supported her claim. Julia's stepfather was a troubled man, alcoholic and abusive. He harbored a deep animosity towards Julia, seeing her as a devil and a monster. When Julia was 12, he even attempted to sexually assault her, but she managed to escape by hitting him on the head with a brick. Upon learning about this, Julia's mother quickly divorced him. Because of her unfortunate childhood experiences, Julia was particularly sympathetic to the female guests on the show who had gone through difficult times. Before she turned 16, Julia left home to study and work on her own. Whether it was due to natural talent or sheer determination, she quickly found success in many fields. At the age of 17, Julia moved to Moscow and began her modeling career, standing at 179 cm tall. She later enrolled in the Russian Theater Academy and pursued a career as an actress, appearing in a comedy film on TNT TV in 2000. She also occasionally sang in clubs, and some regulars at Moscow nightclubs remembered her performing under the stage name Flora Wang. Later, when she returned to Moscow, she started to work as a stylist and fashion designer. She even created her own clothing line and organized fashion shows. As she became interested in perfumes, Julia enrolled in a perfume art school in France and later opened her own boutique selling perfumes, handmade soaps, and other items. Upon returning to Moscow, she pivoted once again, pursuing a career as a stylist and fashion designer. She went on to create her own clothing line and organize fashion shows. Julia accumulated numerous titles, photographer, painter, poet, fashion designer, singer, model, actress, perfumer, and businesswoman. It is fair to say that her life was already quite remarkable, even without considering her claims of reincarnation. She also mentioned that her decision to join the Battle of Psychics was driven by the spirit of chaos within her. After the competition, Julia Vang became a well-known psychic in Russia, but she did not choose to make money out of it. Instead, she announced her decision to leave magic behind and pursue more worldly pursuits, such as running a perfume business, writing books, and fashion modeling. However, just a few years later, the once wildly popular Julia Vang mysteriously disappeared from the spotlight. It wasn't that she vanished physically, but rather that her story was completely rewritten by a shocking twist. In the summer of 2017, Julia Vang made a dramatic return to social media. 
she appeared noticeably changed, slim, with short hair, and a somewhat pale complexion. Gone were the extravagant dresses of the past. Now, she wore a suit. By 2018, Julia's once plump lips had disappeared entirely. Her nose had become larger and her chin had squared off, giving her a distinctly masculine look. In July 2019, Julia shocked her fans by announcing on her V contact page that she was actually a man named Thomas Windsor Newton and asked everyone to call him by this new name. Thomas even changed Julia Vang's birth date to October 31st, Halloween's Eve. He said, It's so hard not to be who others expect you to be, especially when you've spent your entire life battling between two selves, one that knows everything but lives in secrecy, and the other that has grown up believing you're insane and trying to mimic the environment. Thomas then shared a story about himself that was completely different from what Julia Vang had recounted on the show, and it was deeply unsettling. On the show, Julia Vang had spoken of a loving mother and a monstrous stepfather. However, the real Thomas was born intersex, with male XY chromosomes, but developed more like a female due to Morris syndrome, a condition causing insensitivity to androgens. According to Thomas, his mother was mentally ill and obsessed with the idea that she had a daughter with supernatural abilities. To sustain this delusion, she forced Thomas to disguise himself as a female and even made him inject substances into his chest to further feminize his appearance. In Thomas's version of the story, his stepfather might have been the good guy and his mother the real monster. Julia Vang's mother, a scientist, once claimed on the show that Julia's father was not of this world, a statement that has led many to believe that Julia Vang's mother might have been the unstable one. Thomas further revealed that the show Battle of Psychics was entirely staged. He admitted to never having any supernatural abilities and that the cool blonde Julia was a fictional persona created by the producers to attract viewers. The production team forced Thomas to wear makeup to feminize his appearance, which he found deeply humiliating. Now with the effects of male hormones finally taking hold, Thomas said he could reclaim his true identity as a man. Thomas also told Julia Vang's fans that the woman they admired didn't actually exist, and he urged them to stop talking about Julia transitioning, because according to him, nothing had changed. Thomas had always been the real person. Usually, when a reality show contestant undergoes a drastic personality shift after filming, audiences accuse them of ruining their persona, believing that they had staged their personality during the show. But in Julia's case, no one saw it as a persona falling apart. Instead, people believed that Julia Vang and Thomas were two distinct individuals sharing one body. And now, Julia had disappeared. During the show, Julia Vang had vowed never to charge for psychic services. Yet Thomas turned around and began selling dolls with special powers and charging for predictions and divination. Julia Vang, despite her cold demeanor, had a gentle side. But Thomas seemed to hate everything about Julia even as he profited from her fame. Julia Vang once said she was a chaotic spirit and an intersex. Fans speculate that the change in her might have been due to one of the souls within her body departing. There was also talk of a curse, with some suspecting that supporters of Tatiana, the runner-up on Battle of Psychics, along with members of the St. Petersburg Witch Association, had placed a curse on Julia Vang. This curse was supposedly cast in front of Julia and the entire production crew on the night the competition results were announced. The Witch Association had warned Julia Vang to protect her shell, a statement that now seemed like a forewarning of the drastic changes in her. At this point, many atheists might be itching to ask, Hasn't anyone ever questioned these seemingly mystical claims? Of course they have. Discussions surrounding the authenticity of the show Battle of Psychics have been ongoing for years. Yulia Skalkina, a participant in the 15th season, openly admitted that after appearing on the show, she no longer believed in psychics. Before meeting Julia Vang, Yulia had already disclosed all her personal details to the show's staff, her fertility history, her address, and even details such as the proximity of hospitals and morgues to her home. She did this because the staff assured her that this information was merely used to verify the accuracy of the contestants' predictions. But who's to say the crew didn't share this intel with the contestants? However, bound by a confidentiality agreement, Yulia couldn't reveal that the show had requested this personal information before it aired. 
Documentary director Boris Sobolev has also expressed his doubts, saying that the psychic abilities showcased on Battle of Psychics, clairvoyance, divination, and predictions, were far from convincing in his eyes. The process likely goes something like this. Naive people write to the show seeking help for their problems. The staff then visits the scene, talks to the client's neighbors, childhood friends, relatives, and the local police, buys medical records, monitors social networks, and ultimately compiles a comprehensive file for the psychic contestants to memorize ahead of the show. Another former contestant, who wished to remain anonymous, claimed that the production team offered him a spot in the finals for a price of 450,000 rubles. Paying this fee essentially bought the answers, with the crew and host giving special attention to those who paid, while real psychics who didn't pay were left out in the cold. Every year, the authenticity of Battle of Psychics is questioned, so much so that even the host seems exasperated, stating his opinion, when it comes to whether psychic abilities exist, they exist if you believe in them, and they don't if you don't. Despite the controversy, why do so many people remain avid viewers of the show and continue to become fans of Julia Vang? Perhaps it's because the stories, despite potentially being orchestrated, still reflect truths about human nature that resonate with viewers. As for Julia Vang's persona, whether genuine or constructed, conveyed a genuine power and warmth that truly touched people's hearts. Despite her cold and aloof demeanor, she often showed glimpses of kindness. For those burdened with guilt, she would offer solace, speaking through the voice of the departed. They don't blame you, they have forgiven you. <laughs> When faced with a family consumed by a desire for revenge after losing a loved one in a car accident, Julia Vang showed an unexpected sensitivity. She tearfully conveyed that the deceased 14-year-old girl wished for her family to let go of their hatred, explaining that the perpetrator had not acted out of malice and had their own family to care for, an elderly mother and a two-month-old baby. The girl's spirit, Julia claimed, did not want her family to be blinded by vengeance, but instead to find it in their hearts to forgive. Many fans believe that Julia Vang's true charm lies not in her psychic abilities, but in her perspective on life. While it appeared that she was performing magic, what she was really doing was seeing the humanity behind the issues and using that understanding to guide people toward resolving their problems themselves. One of the most iconic moments was when Julia Vang helped a guest break her love curse. The show had brought on a girl named Kaga, who admitted to casting a spell on her ex-boyfriend using her menstrual blood, hoping he would no longer be interested in other girls. But instead of finding enduring love, Kaja faced dire consequences. Her ex-boyfriend became violent and abusive towards her and later died under mysterious circumstances. Even more bizarrely, all of Kaga's subsequent boyfriends had histories of alcoholism and violence, and they all met untimely deaths. While other contestants on the show admitted they couldn't help lift the curse from the girl, Julia had a different perspective. She believed that ordinary people couldn't curse themselves or others, and that Kaga's real problem lay within herself. Through Julia's guidance, Kaga revealed painful memories of being abused and assaulted as a child. Julia explained that it was Kaga's subconscious driving her to choose men like her abuser, and there was no curse cast at all. After the show, Julia spent time talking with Kaga, encouraging her to break free from her destructive relationship patterns. Julia Vang embodied a duality. On one hand, she was the witch who could supposedly see the past and future with a single glance, Yet on the other, she encouraged people to believe in their own power to shape their lives. When someone asked Julia, Will I ever find love again? Will I have another child? The audience expected her to use her powers to predict the future with a definitive answer. But instead, Julia simply replied, Since you want it so much, you will get it. At the end of the show, Julia Vang recited a poem she had written, translated beautifully into... I know that after I leave, my remains will scatter across the earth. Looking back, I will say, we gave it our all. We lit the bonfire, filled with love, dancing joyfully in a corner, giving our all, and forever departing. Returning from the grave, we wish for everyone's happiness, 
giving it our all. Our eyes are filled with tears, laughter, and blooming. The wind scatters the remains, and we gave it our all. Perhaps opinions on the truth of psychic phenomena vary from person to person, but the attitude of the wind scatters the remains, and we give our all is undoubtedly an enduring truth that resonates throughout the world. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next video.